Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. Welcome to a brand new week. We're going to start the week off as we usually do with a little market outlook video. Take a look at what could be happening today on this game, but also throughout the rest of this week as we are now one full week ahead of the Black Friday week, right? We talked about that in yesterday's video about the market rising up a lot this weekend. And it seems like EA is really pulling back the content. Like we're really not having a lot of insane stuff. We haven't had preview packs since last Thursday, the promo packs on Friday, this Adidas promo in general, the content definitely seems to be kind of scaled back. And we have a big SBC in the base icon upgrade that is expiring today. So I'm very curious to see where EA goes this week. And I want to kind of talk about a few things and also talk about the market right now as well, because a lot of stuff the, the people are just obviously, as we've noticed, uh, there's no panic yet for Black Friday. So since the content has been slow, you see a lot of these cards like your out of packs items, even some of your golds in packs, they're maintaining a pretty high price. They're really not dropping yet, as it seems like people have not started to actually think about and sell for pan for Black Friday just yet, which is which is nice, right? There's really no panic yet. Uh, I think there absolutely will be, but it just hasn't set in yet for whatever reason. And I think that might start to happen later on this week if the content still is kind of stale. But of course, people are getting their rewards. And that's what I wanna start the video talking about first, is the rewards today on monday of course and i want to talk about the market kind of just talk shop for a video as well i know after yesterday we didn't talk a lot about what's going on with the current state of cards with the adidas cards so i want to talk about that and this team of the week today i think is a pretty big day especially without preview packs uh yesterday and i want to talk about preview packs going forward as well do i think they might release some this week what's going to happen to sbc fodder so we're going to cover that all of that uh, in the video today. So right now, as we are headed into week and league rewards, and, and I call this week and league rewards time frame, but you, as you guys know, people have been getting the rewards throughout the weekend. But of course, this morning on Monday at what is it, eight or nine a.m. UK is when they distribute out all of the rewards if you have not claimed them. And we usually see a bit of a market impact, a bit of supplies. People open up their packs, their team of the week packs, and red picks and get all their weekly rewards, rewards claimed. And you can see that people are anticipating rewards right now. Uh, Jota is down like 40,000 coins. Uh, Felix is down about 30,000 coins. Reyna is down. Rice, Regulon, Ter Stegen. Uh, the new, three new cards that were added yesterday, Di Maria, Deli Ali, and Fabian. Fabian is already a discard. Deli's about 30,000 coins, and Di Maria is a little under 300K. Now, I think that in the general scheme of things, these cards are still overpriced, for uh, especially like Felix. Jota, in my opinion, is overpriced. Militao is like, I think, still like 75,000 coins to 100k too expensive. If you compare him to like the Marquinhos Inform, I think Di Maria is going to drop in price for sure as we go out the rest of this week. But right now, people are kind of selling these off and they're selling some of their golds a little bit, right? This is a normal market movement that we see like Sunday night into Monday morning. I don't think this is like preparation for Black Friday sell off because the only cards that are really dropping in price right now. Uh, or a slight dip into rewards like we just saw here, like with this Jota. Again, just to show you the graph, uh, Jota yesterday on Sunday was like 496,000 coins after the content drop, and he's kind of just been slowly falling into rewards today. Now, some of these cards might get low and then bounce back after rewards this morning on Monday. But again, I think right now what you're seeing is people selling because they're fearing that supply, right? And Kunku, 40K, it's about the lowest that he has been. Cancelo, 45K. Neymar is under 1.3 million coins, 1279. Uh, after yesterday on Sunday being up at like 1.24, he went all the way down to 125 and then rebounded back up again with no content. You're seeing this, you're seeing this cycle a lot, especially yesterday on Sunday. A lot of people were expecting 50k preview packs like we had the week before, or they remembered that. So there's a lot of selling yesterday into the content time. No content was released or nothing that really impacted the market. And you saw stuff rebound back. Now, I do think that today with the weekly rewards, it seems like people aren't really selling teams because if you take a look at the rest of the market, take a look at Rule Breakers 2, Phil Foden, 392K, that is up. Bamba, 105, that's maybe like, you know, around 5K down from where his average is. That's about his normal price. Klosterman, 173, that is rising. Cornet, 70K. Kessie's 150. I look at a lot of these cards around the rest of the game. Marquinhos is 270. Vinny is still 365. And if there was true sell-off and there was actually people starting to sell cards from their teams, you would see it in these areas of the market. And a lot of this market is still up. So it doesn't look to me like there's really any sell-off yet, which obviously, again, 
just plays into our favor. If you're trying to sell some of these out of packs cards, maybe icons, maybe some of these gold items uh, that you think are going to drop off that we think are going to drop off with panic selling into the next two weeks. This is again, an, another perfect opportunity. EA is like allowing us to get our cards out here. Honestly, if you look at it that way, since they're not releasing some insane content. So you might see some of these golds bounce back. Like Hyunmin Sun is a popular card that bounced back a lot this past week. He was yesterday on Sunday, he reached a peak of 92, 93, 94,000 coins with literally not much supply yesterday at all. And now he's down to 88K. So we'll see if these cards get any lower rewards. Some of these golds might bounce back up. Mane is 133. Uh, okay, that's that's decently low for Mane. Usually he's like, he was 140, okay, 146. Yeah, it's decently low. So like if I could snag this at 130, uh, maybe tonight before rewards, if there's enough sell-off, I think you would see a bit of a bounce back on that. Now again, with rewards today, there's gonna be a little bit of supply. You're probably gonna see these Adidas numbers up cards you know, rise back up after the content or after the weekly rewards are released. That's a normal rewards movement. Now, if you didn't see them rise up today, that would make me think, all right, people are not buying teams and people are kind of starting to lean towards the Black Friday mojo of, I'm not going to buy cards for my team right now. I'm going to be waiting and seeing what comes out and kind of starting to sit on like untradeables and stuff. But I really don't feel like that's how it's going to be. I feel like people are going to buy some cards today. Again, I don't think there's a lot of fear in the whole market. There's not a lot of fear yet. But I, I, I'm wondering, and this is what I wanted to talk about today too, is kind of how EA has been pulling back the content. Yesterday, or last week, not yesterday, last week was a crazy week, right? We had the base icon upgrade last Monday, a week ago. We, of course, had the 50K preview packs. Then on Tuesday, we had the 81 to 86 packs. Then on Thursday, we had 25K preview packs. It's just been, it's been crazy content, right? There's been a lot of SBCs, uh, you know, not all good value player SBCs that were released last week. But specifically with this base icon upgrade, we had uh, the league SBCs. We have icons dropping in the game now. We had an icon yesterday in Beckham. Again, these these SBCs are terrible value. I, I, don't, I do not understand why they're valuing these cards. Um, in my opinion, they're just not that great of value. I mean, and the, the cards that they're releasing at the moment, they're just not that great. But I guess we got to start somewhere. So at least they're releasing SBCs this early in the game, which is decently nice for some of those icons. If that's a player that is really meaningful for you that you want to have in your squad or like kind of collect their card and have it untradeable for the rest of the year, I understand that for sure. Um, but again, the, the number one thing that I'm watching this week is the preview packs, right? And I think this is the perfect opportunity for EA Sports this week to kind of pull back the reins on the content, make it a, a little bit more chill in a sense, make it a bit more chill. And last week we had a crazy week. This week they can kind of make it pulled back a little bit. Then they can maybe if they want to, I don't know if they're gonna run a promo after Adidas because this promo looks like it's just a one week promo, but maybe they start building the hype for Black Friday just a little bit. I don't know if they're gonna do that a whole week ahead of time or not, um, but maybe time for like a quick one week promo and then Black Friday. So I think that this might be, they do this sometimes a lot with, with their tactics, right? And they know that keeping the hype levels moving up and down creates more interaction with their game because if it was always at the top, if, the, if content was always at peak levels all the time, then we wouldn't have a desire for like content to, to get that much better, right? And it wouldn't create these fluctuations where they can really pull on people's heartstrings when content is not that good and leaves us wanting more, then they give us more and we're like all into it. You know what I'm saying? So EA, I think right now is kind of pulling back the content a little bit, at least they have this weekend. Now I'm wondering if this SBC is gonna get re-released today. I feel like maybe a better, like more higher likely percentage of an SBC that could be released today with this base icon upgrade going away is maybe they would release the hero upgrade again. I don't think that's, that's definitely not confirmed at all. Um, that's just me kind of thinking if they were gonna release some sort of pack today, maybe the hero upgrade makes another appearance. We will have to see. But with this SBC going away, I know we still have player of the month Salah that is out, but you're already starting to see some of that SBC fodder drop off. This is kind of like if you still have some fodder in your club last chance and you wanna sell it, this is probably a good opportunity to do so if you're, as you're already starting to see some of these 88 rated 89s like harry kane is 48,000 coins on thursday he was like 52k or something crazy like that um on the or that was even on the weekend like saturday so a lot of these these higher rated fodder cards have started to dip dip off and i think if there's no new base icon there's no new um 
SBC for a hero upgrade today. I think these would continue to drop down, even if we don't have a lot of like supply from preview packs or from promo packs. I mean, there just will be less demand. And you're going to see that SBC for Muhammad Salah start to look a lot more tempting. Right now, 824,000 coins. I even said when this was released, I said, hey, after the base icon goes away, I tweeted this out. This guy's going to be under 800,000 coins if the base icon goes away and nothing else replaces it. And he's already well on his way there. Reward supply today, base icon going away. I think this, this SBC is going to get a decent amount cheaper, especially as your higher tier, like your 88, your 89 rated cards. These guys might dip back down. Like Tony Cruz might be back into that 22 to 24K range in the next couple of days if there is no crazy demand that is released. Of course, you still have 84s that are up a little bit. I think that base icon going away might pull some of those cards down as well. So that's the number one thing that I'm curious about on this week though with this game is, I mean, other than, you know, today on Monday usually being an upgrade packs day, I would expect some sort of upgrade packs being live for the Adidas promo for team uh, number one or the only team that we're gonna have of this Adidas promo. I think I would expect that. Um, from EA Sports today. They've been dropping upgrade packs basically for every single promo, at least for the first week. And I honestly think that they're going to continue that. And I, I wouldn't see why they would skip over this Adidas promo uh, with these cards on the market at the moment. So I, I would intend to see upgrade packs today. Don't know entirely what, uh, I guess you could say, player picks. I don't know if they're going to be just regular upgrade packs, like a 70, um, the 78 plus player pick. Now, the one thing that we have seen added to the code, um, I think it was like two weeks ago or last week before this promo was dropped, is they added a 82 plus pace, 82 plus dribble, 82 plus passing upgrade pack. So I'll be curious to see if that is released this week. And then basically along with that, will we get preview packs this week? If EA is really trying to downplay things and make things quieter on the game this week, which we're gonna kind of find out, of course, as the week goes on, I'm just really curious to see if they want to supply the market more with preview packs or if they want to chill it out a little bit. Now, all of these packs here in the store are expiring today on Monday. So that makes me a little curious what, what they're going to update this with. I mean, usually a 25K pack or a 35K pack would be normal, just like five or 10 per account. That would be nothing crazy and nothing you know that we would see as crazy. But if they would drop again, They've got a 25K pack, an 81 to 86 preview pack, uh, a 50K pack literally at their disposal. Right now, they could release at any time is added to the code. Now, also, you might have heard some rumors about a 100K pack that has been added as a preview pack. And I just want to say, uh, some of the guys that get into the code, like Weaver, uh, he tweeted this out. He said, uh, people are spreading fake news about that 100K pack code that was talked about on Twitter. The pack database has not been updated since the 10th of November. Uh, so there's no new 100K or 125K preview pack. That is capped. That is fake. So there's nothing new along those lines. So don't be panic selling or thinking anything crazy with that, uh, you know, this week on this game. So honestly, if the content stays like it is at the moment, this is something that we've seen a couple times this year. Like I remember wrote the knockouts team two. Um, was kind of quiet like this for the second week. And what you often see when the market is quiet like this is, you know, you see a nice post rewards rise. Like today is rewards. You usually see a nice bit of rise after rewards. And you see uh, those prices maintain a, a decently, you know, inflated range for at least Monday into Tuesday. And then of course, you know, as we get further along into the week, people start to sell their teams on, you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And Thursdays before rewards. And then of course they buy back for the weekend coming again. So I would expect to see prices, you know, chilling out. And I don't think I would expect to see any crazy movements today on Monday, unless we'd have some sort of wild pack code or uh, anything, anything unexpected right now. It just, it just kind of seems like we're slowly rolling into that Black Friday timeframe. And you know, there's not a ton of market movements at the moment. So I'm going to be watching these Adidas cards, watching the team of the week cards today. Um, and of course, watch off, for, watch out for your normal selling as we head into the 6 p.m. time frame on a lot of these cards because, um, like we saw yesterday on Sunday, people are going to continue to expect preview packs uh, like every day until they're not dropping every day, like we almost had last week. And then I think you'd see it chill out a little bit. But that's just kind of something to keep in mind is you're probably going to see more fluctuations uh, with people expecting preview packs. And they, you know, people have lost so many coins on preview packs in the past uh, week that they're, they now have like PTSD from it and like market crashing, losing coins, stuff like that. 
people aren't about that. So until we start to get more, I guess, hype around the Black Friday coming, and we're going to probably have some more videos coming out in the next week as we get, especially towards this weekend, we'll kind of start to get a pulse of what's going on. If people start to sell some cards for it, you know, um, again, I think this is an optimal safe time still to sell a lot of these items, whether it's gold cards, whether it is the, on the on the higher tier, you know, like a Conte, um, you know, maybe somebody like a Varane, a Marquinhos, a Mane, because those cards are, in my opinion, 100% going to get panic sold and drop as we head into the Black Friday time period. Um, but it should be a pretty decent time to trade as well. If you, if you have a lot of those fluctuations around 6 p.m., what you can do is you can watch for a lot of cards that get panic sold in that 6 p.m. time frame. Then it's obviously a risk. But then right when 6 p.m. comes, if you see that we don't have any preview packs, no promo packs are released in the store, you can quick swing back out on the market and you know maybe maybe drop some coins on a card uh, that is low, right? Like, like let's say this baby Mateus is usually selling for right around a million coins, and let's say tomorrow right before content he's like 900k, and you're like, okay, this is a very popular icon card, very rare. I mean, if there's no content today, people are gonna probably go back and buy stuff up uh, that they had in their teams to go continue playing games with. So. Uh, that would be a card, you know, you'd maybe expect to rise back up out of packs and icons are definitely the best for that sort of trading fluctuation. But just kind of to put that out there, uh, that is one thing that you could watch for any any day throughout this week. Uh, if there is no true panic uh, as we head into any of the content drop days this week. Now, one thing I think Bundesliga player of the month would be something I'd be keeping an eye out for. Uh, and also I'd watch for this team of the week. This team of the week isn't really that supplied. They only had to endure one set of preview packs. They had to endure the eight, the 25K plus preview packs that were released on Thursday when they were in packs. And then also, um, you know, just 50K packs in the store over the weekend. That's not a lot of supply. So if we get to Wednesday um, or even today with rewards, if you want to take a look at an opportunity of maybe buying some of these informs, like maybe it's a Neymar, uh, for a short term flip, right? This wouldn't be for a buy and invest in a hold, but maybe a Neymar, Goretzka, uh, and Kunku or Cancelo. I would take a look at some of those guys today at rewards because you might see a quick rise in them, right? Let's say today it rewards Cancelo. Uh, I mean, with the links that this provides with the Portuguese links, a lot of people, uh, have used Cancelo this year on the right side. Cancelo right now is showing us 44,000 coins on Footman. That might have been a little bit of an undercut, but you know, maybe it rewards time this guy drops down an extra three, 4,000 coins. You can snag him on bid with a chem style. You know, people might go out and try to invest these cards today. And this looks like it could be a decent team of the week to invest in, especially as it heads out of packs. If we don't have any preview packs, again, I would focus on the meta cards like the Neymar. I mean, Neymar is a really rare item on this market as well in terms of a team of the week card. So I would I would keep an eye on Neymar. He could have the same fluctuation as he had yesterday. Um, he could he could literally go from like 1.25 million coins. He could jump up like 70, 80,000 coins at a moment's notice after rewards tomorrow and, and into the day if there is no content uh, or it's it's not as expected. So maybe EA, this is the other opportunity and the other flip of the coin for this. Maybe EA is just going to go absolutely crazy with content this week uh, after a slow weekend. I, I That could happen, but I, I really don't see it. I really don't see that happening um, because last weekend, obviously, they went crazy with the preview packs and with the base icon SBC. And since that's going away, I mean, it really just seems like it's going to be a slower week this week. And I'm fine with that. I really am fine with that. As long as we get a few, maybe an SBC or two more for the Adidas Numbers Up promo. Uh, and I'm really curious, as we get towards the end of this week, Bundesliga Player of the Month on Thursday, that's the only other thing that I'm kind of like expecting, right? Bundesliga Player of the Month on Thursday. That's like the only thing that would be kind of set in stone, if you will, for coming later on this week. Upgrade packs today. Um, I'm, I'm honestly really curious to see what EA do this week. And I'm really curious to start to watch the market as well. So this is kind of just one of those times on the game where it's like, puzzling in a sense where I'm, I'm just kind of curious to see where the market goes. Now, I'm going to buy some cards and give it a shot and try to make some coins, of course, um, because it, it definitely does not seem like people are panicking yet. Uh, and like super duper, I got to sell everything because Black Friday is coming. Like that stage of, of panic or preparation has 100% not affected the market just yet. So we'll try to trade on this market this week. I think you will see a lot of people still going out and buying cards, investing a little bit, trying players out for their team. And that could make some for some good fluctuations uh, this week on 
this game. But I'm really curious. Number one thing is today on Monday, do they, re do they replace this base icon SBC with anything else? Do we get upgrade packs? Number one, does anybody want to do upgrade packs for this promo team? I mean, I might do a couple because there's two Spurs players in packs and I like Spurs. So maybe try to help the untradeable club out a little bit with Regulon and Deli Alley just for fun. But is there really that much demand for those? Not really. Um, you know, a, a lot of people are asking about icon swaps. That's another thing that we need. We need information from EA Sports about when and how long the different versions of icons are going to be in packs, when and how they're going to upgrade heroes. They can keep that one a little bit of a secret if they want. Uh, but icon swaps and how they're just doing the icons in packs this year. We literally have no dates or information like we had last year. We didn't even know that icon player SBCs were going to be released last week. So I'm just looking for some more communication from EA Sports and that, right? But I think they're going to clearly communicate with us this week what their objective is on the game. After a crazy week last week, I'm really thinking that they might pull off and pump the brakes this week a little bit. So we'll just have to see as we progress. I think today will give us a good uh, idea of how it could look through the rest of this week going forward. So that's the video for today, boys. Let me know down in the comments how your weekend league was and how you're finding trading on this game. I had some good flips yesterday. I bought some of the new Adidas cards. Right now, I'm trying to chem style trade a few of these, uh, but these have dropped a little bit before rewards. I'm probably just going to hold these guys. I got this rain at like 35K as a sentiment position change. A regular one with an anchor. Declan Rice, a position change. I got this like 28,000 coins. He's like 29K. So probably just going to hold on to those and, and let them rise in the, into today on Monday a little bit. But let, uh, yeah, let me know how your weekend league was, how the trading has been this weekend with not a lot of crazy content. There's been potential for some good flips. So I hope you've made the most of it if possible. And uh, I'm curious to watch these... Uh, these Adidas cards as we head out through the week as well and see what they do in price. But if you did enjoy the video today, slap a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.